Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie bit my finger instead. Evening. I'm out on a new rabbit permission tonight. Uh, it's a horse paddocks. So it's just rabbits, nothing else. Uh, bought the Airwolf. It's got the tactical stock on because I've got the sling mounted to it. The walnut's not drilled for studs. Um, Pod 007, Air Max Compact. Uh, I've, I've been down here before. Um, but it's surrounded by roads and footpaths where you can be seen by the public. So I've decided to um, hang fire a bit and uh, come down once the clocks have changed. It's about 6.30 now in the evening and it's nice and dark, can't be seen. There's no lights around. This is the headlights from the car. Uh, I did come down in, well, summer a few months ago and bagged a few, which you'll see next. Um, but it was a bit hairy fairy with having to sort of duck around and dodge people, dog walkers looking over and things like that. So I decided to play it safe and come back now it's dark. So I've got the winter here. Um, lots of foxes about. I don't know if there'll be any rabbits about yet. Uh, I did have an issue before when I came down that they were out in the summer evening. As soon as it started to get dark, they just went in and the foxes came out. So. Whether it's changed now because it's got dark, whether the foxes are out earlier, I don't know. Um, so hopefully we we'll get a few. I'm using the Mako slugs again. They're the most accurate in this gun. Drop rabbits easy. Um, superb things. Uh, so here we go, 177, sub 12. Airwolf MCT, probably the best rifle day state made in my opinion. This and the Mark IV. They were the best days of day state. I think personally um, that's my personal opinion yours may differ there we go uh, it's just a devastatingly accurate rifle beautiful to shoot love the electronic triggers fantastic okay so let's see how we get on see if we can get any speak to you soon now this permission has got white rabbits mixed in with its population which is just a, uh, a natural colour variation that occurs. You can also get black ones and like a brown, ready brown one as well. Um, I have only seen one black one, but never shot one. So this one's come out plain as day. I just don't know how to survive in the wild, to be honest, because you can spot them a mile off. Sitting there perfectly for me. And down it goes, no problem. Never gets up. Now, so me looking up one of the bridle ways, they have like a perimeter bridle path uh, that the rabbits are digging up. They have to keep going around, filling them in, so a horse doesn't break its leg, which is the reason we control the rabbits where they have horses and livestock. So you can see the white one was just on the left there this one's come out these aren't the two earlier on the video they were babies I didn't shoot them there he goes nice and easy bit of kicking and then it's all over now the sun's uh, just starting to set now hence the glare in the in the lens this one's just sitting out in the sunshine, in the warm. Perfectly positioned. No problem there. Just how we like it. Never gets up. Okay, back to night time. And as you can see, the white ones stand out like a sore thumb. This one was about... I think I remember it was about 30, 35 yards away, something like that. And I think I could have shot it with my day scope, to be honest. It was, it was just, I could see it easily in the dark. Like I said before, I've no idea how to survive in the wild. Um, you can easily spot them. This one just appeared from nowhere, actually. This is on a paddock near the owner's home. I just uh, 
stood there for a while when we were shooting sticks. Just looked around and there it was. Don't know where it came from. So just line up on him and down he goes. Just take him. Just a bit of a kick in and it's all over. No problem. Nice clean kill. And the next one comes out opposite me. I think the uh, Warren's in that hedge line. Um, just under that, uh, where that fence is at the back. So I'm just squeaking him now, just trying to get him to sit up. He's about 25 yards away, something like that. The hedge line's just, just over 30 yards away. So he's about 27 yards. And then decides to come running in. Clearly didn't know I was there at all. But uh, probably struggling to find a bit of grass because the horses have absolutely mowed it down to nothing. Um, so he's just scratching for a bit of grass. And then just need him to sit still a sec. And there we go. It's all over. Bit of twitching. And uh, that's it. So that's five from that permission, two from last night, three from the summer, and there they are, that's the two I took last, you can clearly see the difference, it's like white but it's got a little bit of brown tinge to it, like a creamy colour, um, first time I've ever seen them actually. Okay, if you enjoyed that, like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.